you're good to go my sis like fresh bread will come out of you you can even throw in a chewing gum but not in the case whereby you've eaten suya and onions or you've eaten peanuts sis you want to experiment it's not only missionary every time my dear sister change it hi love welcome back to another yummy content how you doing so if this is your first time of seeing this beautiful face you're so welcome on this channel there's a whole lot of love to go around so kindly stick around wow guys i've actually missed saying that so um today's video is a quick one and yet we're back to our juicy and yummy series so i started this um content with um some recipes you can try to like spice things up and um boost things in the other room but you know you don't just want to um use those stuffs if you are still doing some things that are addicting what you're doing i don't know how to put that better but if you are doing some stuffs that are like putting your man off in the bedroom definitely whatever or any of the either of the recipe or any of the recipe you've tried you're just trying it and wasting them you're just taking those recipes for taking sake because if at the end of the day you're not able to like derive the pleasure or your man was not able to like derive the pleasure then what wh why did you even like take the recipes in the first place so guys today we'll be tackling some things you might be doing like yes i was in this shoe sometimes ago as well so we'll be tackling some things you might be doing to like um put your man off in the bedroom so number one is your hygiene hygiene when i mean hygiene i mean be odor free that's what i mean by hygiene um we might be stressed at the end of the day maybe you've gone to work you've sorted the kids and all of that and you're too tired to take a shower now a quick one get yourself a wipe get yourself a wipe wipe or wipe down your underarm both underarm wipe them clean let them be free of any unwanted odor number two your your mouth the odor you might be talking afar off the smell might not come off but once it moves moves closer and you know maybe he wants to give you a kiss or something and all of a sudden that thing just comes wah, to his face it's going to be turned off so um you want to like brush your teeth take care of your mouth. even if you don't have time to brush your teeth you can just put pour in a little quantity of mouthwash mm, probably you don't have time to like brush pour in a little quantity of mouthwash rinse it out you're good to go my sis like fresh breath will come out of you you can even throw in a chewing gum but not in the case whereby you've eaten suya and onions or you've eaten peanuts my dear sister those ones have conk <laughs> like very very terrible smell eat suya 10 minutes later or heat onions or take peanuts 10 minutes later your the the the, the 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 smell coming out of your mouth will be so horrible i promise you so you just want to like do a quick one put in some listerine some mouthwash anyone you use and just rinse it out with water and you're good to go don't use gum to cover this one your gum cannot cover it i promise you gum will not cover such so um then the last part this one takes us to the you know that area your video where the whole action is going to like you know take place my dear sister my dear my dear Aburu, my dear auntie my dear younger one please you don't want to have the panty you've been wearing all day on at the end of the day please this will keep that place oozing not like in a bad way 
especially when you don't have bad smell down there but the heat that you've like the sweat and all of that will give it like an off off smell compared to what its natural smell is so you want to do a quick one get into the bedroom get your shower head quickly use some water there clean it up and you know you're good to go it's going to be fresh get rid of that panty you'll be wearing all morning and just you know rinse that place off with water just water and if you're the type that uses all this um odor free soap free vj wash get it quickly do you know a nice cleaning of that area and then um, rinse it off with water and if you have so much time in your hand whereby you're just you know preparing doing all the you know all the serere and all the paparazzi for your man take your time have a warm bath clean up stay fresh you know like seeing you alone is going to be turn, turned on but when you have all this out of place my dear sister you're turning your man off number two you might be sabotaging the mood my sister hmm. i used to do this yes and um at first i was enjoying it and when i realized it wasn't nice <laughs> it was becoming too 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 emotional and it's affecting my man i i stopped it it's a very bad one when i say sabotaging the mood your mom comes close and you know says sweet word, oh baby you're the best you're the um sugar in my tea the cocoa in my cupboard and all those sweet stuff and you're like what of um the last time you didn't say that or you were like and so can you cut your drop what about your hex what about no once it says so so many words like that all you want to do is say thank you baby or return the compliment return the compliment don't you ever bring in any negativity yes once you bring in any negativity you've already sabotaged the mood you've sabotaged the mood and there's nothing like my dear sister is off already it's just going to be like wow what's the essence of like all this starting this in the first place so please it's a turn off don't try to sabotage the mood number three and see me please be involved it's not the only one no it's not the only one in this action in this wrestling you're about to wrestle be involved it's kissing you kiss him back fondling you fondle him back don't just be there like a log, of, a log of wood. Be active. Like, he's giving it to you. My dear sister, give it to him back to back. Don't just be like, oh God, do you and stand up. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Like, let him know you are also in this thing together. Let him know you want to enjoy it as much as he wants to enjoy it. That's just it. Let him know you're there, like, when 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 a man knows you you you're ready you're active you're involved physically and emotionally my dear sister he is that alone makes him feel pleasured makes him feel loved makes him feel wanted do you understand as much as we women we women we uh, sorry we women wants to feel want to be wanted same thing goes for the men they want to feel wanted so make him like you know even you might be the one to initiate the whole wrestling of a thing just you know bring it in put all put in your hall put in your hall and this leads us to point number four i said put in your hall be involved but don't overdo it don't call me acting like a you know Pista. No, 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 no. He doesn't want that. He wants you to be natural. Like, let it flow. Let it come from within. Let it just come, like, just the way you are. Don't come, man. After watching one hour of how they do it, 
and come and download what you've watched for him no let it come from within let it be natural just do it he's taking it take it back like don't like do all the mm -mm, it's not needed do you be natural just enjoy the mood enjoy the flow of everything okay point number five sis you want to experiment it's not only missionary every time my dear sister change it you want to change it change your style a little be flexible don't just let it be mommy and daddy mommy and daddy all the time you want to you know initiate bring in something new something you'll be like okay let's see baby can we can we try this why not this way instead of just be there once you bring it to him like baby let's try this new thing love let's try this way let's do it like this it's going to go caca for you it's going to go a wire once you tell him babe you know hi thinking we should do it this way today my dear sister he's going to go a wire so try to experiment don't just be rigid in this thing you know i uh i don't want him to let him let him hang it on the silly if it's the silly that would you know do it for you people initiate new styles new positions like new things bringing ideas that would turn change things in the bedroom this is going to help matters like it's going to there's no way you want to like bring this in that you won't feel turned on but my dear sister when you are rigid it's one position from now to 10 years later later you'll get tired and be turned off that's the truth you get tired and be turned on. Number off. six. Be present. Don't be in the bedroom and be thinking about, oh, what would the kid, kids eat tomorrow? I have to wake up 5.30 to get the kids ready for school. Oh, I forgot to lock the door. Oh, uh, my shoes are outside. Oh, my nail appointment is in two days. Not at that time, sis. Don't try to come in with a filled up head. Don't. Don't do it, sis. Don't come in when your, 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 you know your, your head is filled. Try to offload those thoughts. Offload them before coming. Because there's no way you want to do it once your head is filled up with a lot of things. It's going to notice, I promise you. It's going to notice that you're not present. You're present physically, but your mind, your brain is not present. So you want to make sure before going there, you've offloaded. Like, whatever. At that point in time, you drop it. When you are done, you can't carry your team back. You can't carry your pro property back if that is it. But when that do is about to go down, don't go there with whatever you have going on in your head. Be present, be available, let your mind, body, soul, spirit, everything be present right there. And finally, we all do this. <laughs> we all do this. Do not fake orgasm. Yes, do not fake orgasm. They actually don't like it when you fake it. Yes, some don't like it when you don't orgasm. But at the same time, they actually don't like when you fake it. So please do not fake orgasm. Let him know that, okay, you're not getting to the level. If there's something he needs to do better for you to get there, do you understand? And um, there is much more to the whole act than orgasm than just orgasm so you want him to know that okay babe do it this way maybe and if at the end of the day you don't even get there nothing spoil it doesn't change anything <laughs> it doesn't ruin thing but when you fake it with time is going to know you've been faking it all along 
and it's going to ruin things so please do not fake orgasm so love if you've been doing any of the seven things try to work on them try to stop doing them find other ways to like you know turn things on for the better in the bedroom um, i'll be bringing to you a list and series of things you can do to like you know turn on the vibes even when he's tired and you know he's like oh baby i've been stressed as well i've been stressed at work today work has been so hectic you know what you know what so guys do. this has brought us to the end of this video if you do like this kind of content drop a comment for me in the comment section below and if you're still watching me up to this point and you're yet to subscribe to this channel my dear you don't want to miss any of this kind of content more coming so you just want to click the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and also remember to like this video this will make this video go to other people like more people will be able to see this content do you understand so thank you so much for watching my loves i'll see you in my next video bye